He was a man who lived a double life. Randy Adair, the snowbird bandit. He was a respected detective, a loving husband and father, but beneath the surface a darkness lurked, a secret that would shatter his world. Adair's story is one of shocking betrayal, a descent from grace that captivated a nation. He was a protector sworn to uphold the law, yet he became the very criminal he vowed to apprehend. The weight of his crimes was immense, and his fall from grace was even greater. Randy Adair, once a symbol of justice, became a cautionary tale. His story is a stark reminder that even those we trust can falter. It's a tale of addiction, desperation, and the devastating consequences of choices made in the shadows. Randy Adair's journey began with promise. Born and raised in the heartland of America, he embodied the values of honesty and integrity. He was a bright student, a star athlete, and a loyal friend. Drawn to a life of service, Adair set his sights on law enforcement. He excelled at the academy, showcasing a sharp mind and a natural instinct for investigation. He joined the Los Angeles Police Department, eager to make a difference. Adair's dedication did not go unnoticed. He quickly rose through the ranks, earning the respect of his peers and superiors. He tackled each case with unwavering determination, earning a reputation as a skilled and relentless detective. Behind the badge, however, a battle was brewing. Adair carried the weight of a difficult past, haunted by personal demons that whispered in the shadows. The seeds of addiction were sown, a silent threat to the life he was building. The pressure of Adair's work took its toll. Long hours, exposure to the city's underbelly and the constant fight against injustice chipped away at his resolve. He sought solace in fleeting escapes, numbing the pain with alcohol. What began as a coping mechanism spiraled into a full-blown addiction. Adair's once unwavering control slipped through his fingers. The bottle became his confidant, offering temporary relief from the mounting pressure. As his addiction deepened, so did his financial woes. Unable to keep up with his growing debts, Adair found himself trapped in a vicious cycle. Desperation gnawed at his conscience, pushing him closer to the edge. The once unthinkable became a terrifying reality. To fuel his addiction and silence his creditors, Adair made a choice. A choice that would forever alter the course of his life. He would use his knowledge of the law to break it. The Snowbird Bandit, that's what they called him, a moniker born from his uncanny ability to strike during the winter months, disappearing like a ghost before the snow melted. His targets banks, primarily in affluent neighborhoods. Adair's crimes were carefully calculated. He exploited his law enforcement knowledge, exploiting security loopholes and evading detection with chilling precision. His methods were audacious, his timing impeccable. Each heist sent shockwaves through the community. Fear gripped the city as the snowbird bandit became a legend whispered in hushed tones. The media frenzy intensified, the public demanding answers. Little did they know the man they sought was one of their own. The detective assigned to the case, grappling with his own demons, was the mastermind behind the mask. The irony was as cruel as it was captivating. Section 5, Capture and Confession, The Walls Close In. The net tightened with each passing heist. The FBI joined the investigation, their resources bolstering the LAPD's efforts. The pressure on Adair mounted, the walls of his double life closing in. In a twist of fate, it was a seemingly insignificant detail that proved to be Adair's undoing. A witness description of a rare car spotted near a robbery matched one registered to Adair's wife. The realization hit the task force like a thunderbolt. Their colleague, the man who had sat across from them at strategy meetings, was the snowbird bandit. The betrayal cut deep, leaving them reeling in disbelief. Confronted with irrefutable evidence, Adair's carefully constructed facade crumbled. His confession, a mix of shame and relief, sent shockwaves through the department and shattered the image of the hero detective. Section 6, Life Behind Bars, Remorse, Reflection and Redemption. Sentenced to a lengthy prison term, Randy Adair faced the stark reality of his actions. The courtroom's finality echoed in his mind as he was led away in handcuffs. 
gone were the trappings of his former life, replaced by the cold, unforgiving confines of a cell. The stark walls and iron bars became his new reality. Stripped of his freedom and consumed by guilt, Adair embarked on a journey of introspection. Each day he wrestled with the weight of his past decisions. He grappled with the consequences of his choices, the pain he inflicted on his family, and the trust he shattered within his community. The memories of happier times haunted him. Behind bars, Adair sought solace in faith. He turned to prayer and religious services, hoping to find some semblance of peace. He dedicated himself to rehabilitation programs, pouring his energy into making amends for his past. Therapy sessions and educational classes became his lifeline. He became a model inmate, counselling others and advocating for prison reform. His efforts to mentor fellow prisoners were recognised by the prison staff. Time, however, could not fully heal the wounds he inflicted. The passage of days and years served as a constant reminder of his transgressions. The weight of his actions, the lives he impacted, and the shadow he cast over his family's future served as a constant reminder of his fall from grace. His journey of redemption was ongoing, marked by both progress and regret. Section 7 Family Ties, the unforgiving ripple effects. The impact of Adair's crimes extended far beyond the walls of his prison cell. His family, once his bedrock of support, was left to grapple with the devastating consequences of his betrayal. His wife, once his biggest cheerleader, struggled to reconcile the man she loved with the criminal he became. The weight of shame and public scrutiny tested the bonds of their marriage. Adair's children, forced to confront their father's double life, faced bullying and ostracism. Their innocence was shattered, replaced by a harsh reality that cast a long shadow over their lives. Despite the pain and anger, there were glimmers of forgiveness. His wife, though deeply hurt, remained a constant presence in his life, visiting regularly and offering unwavering support. Section 8, a shadow of his former self. Release and decline, years later, a shadow of his former self, Randy Adair, walked out of prison a free man. The world outside had changed, but so had he. Gone was the swagger, the confidence that once defined him. The man who once commanded attention now struggled to find his place. In their place was a quiet humility, a weariness born from years of regret. His eyes told stories of battles fought within. He returned to a world that had moved on, a society hesitant to embrace a fallen hero. The streets he once knew felt foreign and unwelcoming. The stigma of his past lingered, a constant reminder of the trust he had broken. Every glance, every whisper, a reminder of his fall from grace. Adair dedicated his remaining years to making amends. He reached out to those he had wronged, hoping to heal old wounds. He sought forgiveness from those he wronged, sharing his story in the hope that others might learn from his mistakes. His words carried the weight of experience and caution, but the years of addiction and the harsh realities of prison life had taken their toll. His body bore the scars of his past choices. Adair's health declined, his body weakened by the weight of his past. Each step became a reminder of the years lost. He became a recluse haunted by the ghosts of his past. The memories of his former life, both good and bad, were his constant companions. Section 9. The final chapter. Legacy of a Fallen Lawman. Randy Adair's story ended quietly, far from the headlines that once defined him. His passing was met with a mixture of sadness and relief, a somber conclusion to a life marked by both triumph and tragedy. His legacy remains complex, a cautionary tale of the fragility of human nature. He was a symbol of hope, a dedicated lawman who lost his way. He was also a reminder that even those we trust can falter. In the end, Randy Adair was a study in contradictions, a man who dedicated his life to upholding the law yet succumbed to the darkness within. His story serves as a stark reminder of the seductive nature of addiction and the devastating consequences of poor choices. Section 10. The Snowbird Bandit, A Cautionary Tale. The tale of the Snowbird Bandit is a chilling reminder that no one is immune to the allure of darkness no matter how strong they believe themselves to be. 
Randy Adair's story is a stark illustration of the slippery slope from respected lawman to convicted felon, showing how quickly one's life can unravel. His journey highlights the importance of seeking help when faced with addiction and despair, and the dangers of ignoring these critical issues. It underscores the devastating ripple effects of criminal actions, not only on the perpetrator, but also on innocent loved ones, who often suffer in silence. Adair's story serves as a cautionary tale for those in positions of trust, reminding them of the heavy responsibilities they bear. It reminds us that power, unchecked, can be intoxicating and ultimately destructive, leading even the best of us astray. It emphasizes the need for accountability and the importance of safeguarding one's integrity, no matter the circumstances. Ultimately, the Snowbird Bandit's legacy is one of both warning and hope, showing that redemption is possible. A reminder of the human capacity for both good and evil and the enduring power of redemption even in the face of unimaginable darkness, offering a glimmer of light.